Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a date dimension using some DAX code. So let's start. We'll go to the modeling tab in Power BI Desktop. So if you're on the home tab, just go into the modeling tab and click on new table. And we'll just call it date dim and is equal to and then we will use the calendar function. So we'll use calendar function and you can see we need to give it a start date and end date. So we'll just say date and we'll give it 2000 uh, comma zero one comma zero one so we're just saying from 1st of january 2001 2002 uh, maybe we'll get 50 years data so we'll just say 2050 comma 12 sorry we just need to add the date 2050 comma 12 comma 31 and we'll close out the bracket and hit enter and i'll quickly show you so you can you can see here that it's it's created a table for us which is starting from the first so it just has one column at the moment starting from first of jan 2000 to um, so if i just saw descending you can see from 31st of december 2050 to 1st of January 2000. So we've got 50 years of data roughly. Now let's start adding some more attributes onto this. And I've got some uh, logic or DAX code written here already. So I'll just copy paste bits of it and show you what gradually we'll start building things up. So and here I'll just add, so we'll add year as a new column. So I'll just call it year and then we need to have the add columns command here. And that's about it. So now we've added a column called year and we're passing the date field onto it. So you can see that it's giving us all of So let's just uh, make sort of ascending itself. So it's giving us the year and then we will add the month. So what we are essentially doing is we are using the format function and we are part passing along date as the variable. So we, this looks good. And then we'll add the month number. So let me pretty much just copy up, copy paste everything here. And go here and hit enter. And you can see we've just created a basic dimension. So it's give, we've got a year, we've got a month, we've got a month number, we've got a month name. So the month name is coming from, we're getting the MMMM format. Similarly, we get the weekday. And we've also created a surrogate key here using the, so we've again used the format and we've just converted into YYYYMMDD. So it's it's fairly easy and I'll, I don't worry about it. I'll put this uh, DAX code also in the video notes so you can copy and paste it. And once you've built it, you can basically join this dimension. So this dimension, if you go here, becomes available to us across the board. And then we can start joining this dimension to fact tables or uh, and using it for additional analysis. So in this video, just to recap, we've learned how to create a date dimension using the calendar function. So we use the calendar uh, DAX function as the base function to populate the columns from 2000 to 2050. And then those dates, we started passing it on to different functions. We use the add columns DAX uh, function to add additional columns here. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.